In this video I'm going to show you how to install a new Cerberus plugin for Ghidra. Now if you need a disassembler and a decompiler, Cerberus already comes with an integrated disassembler called Carbon and integrated slate decompiler. Carbon is extremely fast and I suggest you give it a try. It works for x86, x64, ARM32 and ARM64. But if you want to use Ghidra, we have a plugin for it and let me show you how to install it. You click on Setup in the Cerbero UI, you click on the Ghidra tab and on Install Ghidra Plugin. You select the root folder of Ghidra and that's it. The plugin will automatically be installed. The first time you run Ghidra, it will ask you to activate the plugin, but that's it. So let's start Ghidra. And open the code browser. You'll notice that two additional toolbar buttons are present. One is the Cerbero Launcher. The purpose of it is that you can launch tools of Cerbero on the file currently being analyzed in Ghidra. For instance, you can open the Analyzer or the Hex Editor. The main functionality of the plugin is the native UI for Ghidra. If you click on it, it will launch a native UI, meaning written completely in C++, and the purpose of it is that it should be faster than the Java UI of Ghidra. You have all the common views of a disassembler. You can switch, of course, between the disassembly and the decompiler by pressing tab. You can, of course, add comments and rename variables. You can undefine code or define it. You can save your work, undo, redo, and all the common operations. You can add bookmarks, of course, also, and view cross-ref uh, references. And one thing we added in version 4 is that by default now the code, the assembly code, is lowercase. If you like it better uppercase, like in Ghidra, you can configure this on settings and just deselect the lowercase code option and it will turn your code back to uppercase. We think lowercase is easier on the eyes because it's more common. One thing which is to mention is that you can open as many UIs, native UIs you want, and if, say, hopefully it doesn't happen, but one of the UI, UIs crashes, it will only crash the UI, it will not crash the Ghidra instance and the reason for it is that the Ghidra instance and the UI communicate using sockets so you can even set it up in a way that you have one Ghidra instance on a machine and the UI on another machine and if you're interested in this setup you can read how to do it in this Ghidra plugin install PDF in the docs folder in the server folder it will explain to you how to set up a remote uh, UI and this could also be used to work in a collaborative way uh, using Ghidra so more people have a native UI do changes and these changes are reflected uh, in one instance of Ghidra uh, one other thing which is worth mentioning is that you can change the theme in Cerbero on, in the settings and by doing so, you can have a dark themed Ghidra UI. Many of the people who use our Ghidra UI um, especially enjoy this feature because some of them have um, find it easy on the eyes, the dark theme. They don't appreciate bright themes and the dark theme or the dark themes we have are easier on their eyes. So you might find this also useful.